welcome to my channel. You have reached the true crime video of the week. I might start doing these on Tuesdays. I hope you guys, that's all I can say. I think it's weird when people do true crime and say, I hope you enjoy this. Like, I don't hope you enjoy the video, but I hope that you get something out of it. Brian Watkins was a 22 year old college graduate. He graduated from Brigham Young University. Him and his family was on a vacation in New York City. They took this vacation every year to see the US Open. Brian himself was a tennis player, got awards for tennis, had a background in tennis. So the US Open really meant something special to him and his family. On September 2nd, 1990, while they all were in the train station at around 10 p.m., the Watkins family, which included his brother, his mother, his father, and his sister-in-law, six to eight teenagers accosted them. The situation escalated quickly as they decided that they were going to rob this family. They ended up slashing the father's back pocket, which also severely injured him. And when the mother tried to step in, she was beat to the ground. She was kicked about the face and the head. And as soon as Brian saw this, he knew that he had to step in and he had to do something to protect his family. They ran with $200 that they got out of the father's pocket. The assailants, they left. So they're basically, they've assaulted the mother at this point. They've assaulted the father and now they're leaving. As they're leaving, Brian decides that he's going to chase after them. As Brian was going to defend himself against the, this gang of kids, one of the assailants, whose name was Yul Morales, took out a knife, stabbed Brian in the chest, and unfortunately, Brian collapsed, and he died at the top of the steps, holding on to an MTA worker. After the stabbing, the attackers fled the scene, leaving the Watkins family in shock, and Brian fighting for his life. On the way to St. Vincent's Hospital, unfortunately, Brian succumbed to his injuries and passed away. This incident sent shockwaves throughout the community and sparked a citywide manhunt for the perpetrators. Eventually, all eight of the assailants were apprehended and faced legal consequences for their involvement. One of the people that was picked up, arrested, was exonerated. His name was Johnny Hincapié. It was found that there was no evidence. He was coerced into giving a confession when he really didn't do it, so he was let go after 25 entire years. Unbelievable. One of the other individuals that was involved got 25 years to life in prison. The loss of Brian Watkins had a profound impact on his family, friends, and the nation. It served as a grim reminder of the dangers that can lurk in unsuspecting places. You're just out with your family, you're just having fun, and you have no idea this is gonna be the last day that you are on this earth. And it's truly disgusting what happened to him. He did not deserve that, his family did not deserve that. Since the tragedy, the Watkins family has channeled their grief into positivity. They established the Brian Watkins Memorial Foundation, which has awarded over 40 scholarships, totaling more than $90,000 to high school students in Provo, Utah. With unwavering determination, the family strives to ensure that Brian's memory lives on. Rest in peace, Brian. I have created a true crime channel where I will strictly be doing true crime. And the name of that channel is Tracy's Crime Chronicles. If you want to join that and you, you're interested in true crime, you can go ahead and go over there. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.